all you proto-pros uh, from Westerly, Rhode Island, Richard Truthui. I'm here at this project, and there's this beautiful house we're building that you'll see next fall. But the, the house itself doesn't have the access to a city sewer, but it needs to have a septic system, and we're close to the water. There's a pond right down there, and the ocean is within a mile. So we had to step it up to a higher level of septic system. And so this is a, a thing called Invantex is the brand name. But I want to take you through sort of what makes it different. And I'll do the first part by explaining that we have a main sewer that comes into the, right below my feet is a conventional 1500 gallon, you can see it right here, septic tank. About two thirds of its length down, there's a baffle. So in this first chamber, it's going to be filled with solids and liquids and then regular bacteria. They call it anaerobic, meaning not oxygen rich. Bacteria will break down that, will break down that uh, so solids over time, turning into effluent. But the issue with that, if we let that go, what would be the byproduct of, a byproduct of that process would be ammonia and nitrogen. You don't want nitrogen going into the water table downstream. So what changes is that this thing, it comes into the first chamber, goes by about two-thirds down, there's a baffle, and the water goes to this other chamber that sits right underneath here. So now, the water goes through a small screen, and now it gets pumped over to here. Now, I want, this is really interesting. Inside this vault, there are there's a series of distribution ports, and these are these met these screens, these filters. And what happens here is water drips down, but it's a different kind of bacteria here. This is aerobic bacteria. This is the stuff that wants to eat the ammonia. It loves the ammonia, and it gets it. And when it does, it starts chewing on the ammonia. It turns it into oxygen-rich nitrogen water that drops to the bottom. And then what happens is it pulses this water back, this nitrogen-rich water, back down into chamber one all day, all day, all day. And when that goes down there, this water that's so rich in oxygen and nitrogen, it goes down to a place where that bacteria is dying for oxygen. It grabs the oxygen, and the net byproduct is that the nitrogen that remains switches to a gas, not a liquid. And now the nitrogen, instead of going in the water that way, goes completely out through the roof vent at the top of this building up to where and there's plenty of nitrogen in the air and it's never an issue. So this is what you need. This is the type of system you really want to have if you're near a really precious watershed or someplace because at the end of this discharge that water is about 10 times cleaner than a conventional and it doesn't have, it barely has any nitrogen or ammonia in it. You can see down here it goes to a distribution field. That's really just a sand pit with some more of these uh, uh, distribution points and that's water is absolutely clear when you're done. Yeah. So down here at the bottom end of our Advantech system there's a chamber right here that water will fall down in here by gravity. If you look down in you see it it comes in there's a float by the time it comes up to here it'll make the float and that'll bring on a pump and now when the water leaves this chamber it'll come up to the distribution point here and it'll just drip down through the gravel that's at the top and then a bunch of two and a half or three feet of sand below it. Now it's surrounded by code by this sort of corral and so you'll see there's two six by six pressure treated right here at grade and then this again this is by code that they say anything below grade should be wood that can and, and will indeed rot away. Uh, they don't want pressure treated below grade. On the inside if you can look here there's there's a PVC liner, at least on the sides right here. So that will contain it even when the wood disappears. So people ask, could you put a deck or something over it? And I think the technical answer is no, except if you make it be a deck that was self-supported beyond this foundation, which you really can't count on, and you leave it in such a way that it could always be serviced in the future, because if something happened, somebody puts foreign material in and it finally does make it down to here. Someday you may have to clear this, but knock on wood, I don't think there's much to go wrong with a couple of small one-inch PVC pipes with pretty clean water.